Hi friends, welcome you back. Uh, the other day I had done one uh, uh, this uh, one video on estimating and costing, estimation and costing. Uh, in that I did four problems. I solved four problems. These problems were sent by a student from Mysore. He had sent me a problem with a request to do that. Now, if you want to do some problems, if you want me to do some problems, you have to send the problem. Simply if you say, do MOM, do SOM, do this, I can't do it because I don't know what exactly is your difficulty. Now, this boy had sent me seven questions, seven problems, out of which in the previous video, I did four problems. And in those four problems, I think there is some mistake in uh, the fourth video. The, in the fourth video, at the end, I got the cost as 127, I think. This was the prime cost. That is, this was the total of, total of the labor cost, the power charges, power charge and the cost of electrodes. Cost of power, cost of electrodes and cost of labor. These together. Now, in that problem, he had given other overheads, other overheads he had given, which I left, is equal to 100% of prime cost. 100% of prime cost. That means other overheads will be also 127. Prime cost is 127. 100% of 127 means again 127. So the total cost will be the prime cost plus other overheads, other overheads. So that will be 127 plus 127 or 127 into 2, which works out to 254 rupees. This was the total this thing. This step I left. This, the fourth problem, where, where they had given a boiler, this thing to be uh, prepared and uh, both the ends are to be closed by uh, circular plates like that. There was a problem. That was the fourth problem which was given, which was there. Now, <laughs> that I did. Then, some student uh, sent a message to me, uh, somebody from, I don't know, from where. He sent a message that you have done a mistake. I think probably in the second problem, I have calculated 30% of some amount. 30% of 1067 or something like that. I have taken it as 100 point something. It should have been 300, point, 300 something. 300 something. So you also can do that uh, correction. I asked him to correct it. There is possibility that when I am doing the problem uh, due to excitement, I might have committed a mistake. So if there is a mistake, you please correct it. But the procedure remains the same. Now, this boy had sent seven problems, out of which two were from uh, costing, uh, costing uh, this thing that is finding prime cost and all that, selling price, total cost and all that, costing, that chapter is called as costing, two problems from that. And he has sent three problems from welding. Out of those three problems, I have done in that video two problems uh, I had done. They are different type different types of problems. Now he has sent one more problem in welding which I am taking now. The problem goes like this. This is of April May 2019. April May 2019. 2019. The problem the question number is 16. It's for 10 marks. All these problems you know are for 10 marks. A container open on one side of size 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter into 1 meter high is to be made from plates of 6 mm thickness. Now I will draw a rough sketch, not to scale, I will draw a rough sketch like this. A rough sketch, you can make a sketch so that you understand it better. Now this is a tank. This is a tank, a rectangular tank, measuring, of course there will be this thing here, measuring 0.5 meter 
by 0.5 meter by 1 meter. 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter into 1 meter high. 0.5 by it should be read as by it is written as into and it should be read as see, 1 meter high he says. That means the height is 1 meter and the sides are 0.5 meter and 0.5 meter that is the base is square. It is open tank means there will be a bottom but the top will be open. There will be no cover on the top. No cover will be there on the top. So you have to draw a sketch. This is to be made from plates. The plates that are used are of 6 mm thickness. The density of the plate material is 8 grams per cc and joints are to be welded. Estimate the cost of container from the following data. Now he says cost of plate. This we did not do in the, those two problems. Cost of plate rupees 4 per kg rupees 4 per kg sheet metal scrap sheet metal scrap metal scrap 5% of material 5% of material then cost of labor labor cost cost of labor is 10% of material cost material cost then cost of welding material means cost of welding material means that is power electrode etc etc all that rupees 5 per meter weld rupees 5 per meter weld right with this data he is asking us to find out the estimate the cost of that now in the previous two problems we had not taken the plates into the cost of plates into consideration that is because what happens is sometimes i have a welder shop the customer comes to me he says i will give the material you just weld and give to me. The material, the sheet will be supplied by me. You just weld and give it to me. Now in this case, in this problem, we have to weld it as well as the sheet also is to be uh, done by the fabricator. So here we have to find, take the cost of that plate also, plate cost, material cost. That is what he, what he calls as material cost. Now, See, first what I have to do is I have to find the uh, volume of the material required. Volume of the material required. Then I have to find out the weight. Weight. Like we do in material cast. Finding material cast. I have to find out the weight. And then it is given as rupees 4 per kg. So if 1 kg is 4 rupees, so many kg is how much. So this is how it should be done. Now, here, first we will find out the material cost. If you find the material cost, then other things are very simple. Here, I require two, uh, uh, how many? Five sheets. Five sheets. Area of sheet required. Area of sheet required. Will be, say, 0.5 into 1 meter that is 50 into 100 that is I have converted this 0.5 meter will be 50 centimeter and this 1 meter will be 100 centimeter I have converted it into centimeter 1 meter is 100 centimeter 50 by 100 50 by 100 I require 4, four such sheets one this side, one this side, one that side, one this side. All of 550 by 100. And then the bottom one plus 50 into 50. One sheet, one plate. So this is the area I require. This is the area of sheet required. You understand? There are, if I want to make it, there are... Uh, It 
is like this. Imagine that this is like this. Here, I have 50 by 50 by 50 by 50, 100 mm centimeter high. So 50 by 100, 50 by 100, 50 by 100, there will be four vertical sides and the bottom plate will be 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter. So I get this as so many square centimeter. Now volume of sheet required. Volume of sheet required. Required will be area into thickness. That is 50 into 100 into 4 plus 50 into 50 into 1 multiplied by 0.6 that is the thickness thickness of the plate is 6 mm he says 6 mm i have converted it into 6.6 centimeter this will be i will be getting it in cc or centimeter cube cubic centimeter now this works out to for the 20 That will be 22,500 into 0.6. I think that will be 1,500. I'll take up the Fifteen to hundred into four plus fifteen to fifty into one plus uh, into point six. This is, I think. Now, weight of sheet, weight of sheet, weight of sheets will be equal to volume into density, volume into density divided by 1000, so many kg it will be, because this is in cc, this is in grams per cc. So this CC, CC will go, you will get it in grams. If you divide it by 1000, it gets converted into this thing. This is 13,500 into the density is given as 8 grams per CC. 8 grams per CC, right? Divided by 1000. So that means into 8 divided by 1000. So it will be 108 kg. That is, to make one container like this, one box like that, I require a sheet whose weight is 108 kg. Now he says there is some scrap also. That means this is extra material which goes in cutting, etc. We will lose that material. So that also must be considered. So what we have to do, scrap will be, scrap will be, scrap is how much? 5%, that means 0 0.05 into 108. So that will be 
0.05. So that is 5.4, 5.4 kg, 5.4 kg. So total weight of sheet to make one container is 108 plus 5.4. That works out to 113.4 kg. This is the total weight of material required per, per one container, for one container. Now, material cost or plate cost, material cost or plate cost, this is what he calls as material cost, is 113.4 multiplied by rate, rate he has given as 4 rupees per kg, 4 rupees per kg, so that is 113.4, 113.4 into 4, 453, 453 rupees 60 paise, so many rupees, this is the plate cost or the material cost. Now, labor cost will be, labor cost is 10%, that is 0 0.10 into plate cost, that is 453.6, that works out to 45 rupees, 45 rupees 36 paisa, right? Now, cost of welding material, cost of welding material, that means power, electrode, etc. They are called welding materials. Cost of welding material will be 5 rupees per meter weld. Here, how much we have to, he has to weld, we have to weld. This is, this one, 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter and 1 meter. That is 4 meters, 4 edges. Here, 4 edges of 0.5 each. So, 4 plus 2, 6 meters, 6 into 5, per meter 5, that means rupees 30, so 30. If you add these three, the total cost will be, he has not, he has not given any other overheads, so the total cost will be, total cost will be plate cost or material cost plus labor cost plus welding material cost. So that will give you, so 453.60 and 45 rupees 36 paisa and 30 rupees. 96, 8, 12, 1, 528, 528 rupees, 96 paisa, this is the total cost or you can call it as rupees 529, that will be the total cost. Now if you want any profit, you add to that, then quote the price, quote the price of making that. So that is how it is to be done. So this is how this problem is to be done. I hope you have understood it. Next, he has uh, sent a problem on 4G. On 4G. That is problem number 70 in the same paper. Problem number 70 on 4G. That is on 4G. He has sent a problem. Now here, problem number 17, it is required to make a key of dimensions given in figure uh, from a rod of 20 mm dia. Calculate the length of the rod required in by 4G. 
assume scale loss as 6 percent. So there is a sketch here. This is a sketch. This is the sketch of a key. Uh, he himself has divided it into three parts. A, this part he calls as B, this part he calls as C. He has given these dimensions. From here to here it is 20 mm, 20. This is I think 15 mm. All dimensions in mm. 15 mm. This is 75 mm. 75 mm. This is 60 mm. There is no line here. This is just he has divided it into these parts. Uh, this is 10 mm, I think. This is 10 mm. This is 10. This way also it is 10. It is 10. Uh, here it is 10. Here it is 5 mm. Something like that. Now he has divided it into this thing. Now this is on forging. This problem is on forging. Here, see, volume of raw material, volume of raw material required is equal to volume of finished product, finished product into Ah, no. plus losses if any losses if any means if they are given there will be different types of losses like scale loss, shear loss uh, tongue loss like that in forging now <laughs> volume of finished product means this is the finished product after forging we are going to get this now this volume of finished product, I will call that as Vf, this will be equal to Va plus Vb plus Vc. What we have done, we have, uh, he himself has done it, he has uh, divided it into com convenient parts, A, B, C. So you find out the volume of A, volume of B and volume of C separately, add them, you get the total uh, volume of the finished product. Then here they have given loss. One only one loss is given. Six percent it is. That is scale loss. So after getting this VF, what you do is loss will be 0 0.06 into VF. So you will get this in cubic meter. In cubic meter, this also you will get. Uh, sorry, in cubic millimeter. In cubic millimeter. So, volume of raw material, I will call it as Vr, that will be uh, this plus this, Vf plus loss, scale loss, whatever it is. Then, no other loss is given, so we need not take other losses into consideration. To find Va, Va, Va will be L into B into T, L into B into T, length into width into thickness. That is 60 into 10. Length is 60, width is 10, and uh, thickness is 5 mm. To do it, it will be something like 300 mm cube. Then VB will be again length into width into thickness. Width into thickness. That will be 15. This is also 15. 
This is also 15. 15 by 15. 15 into 15 into this way it is 10. This way it is 10. So 225. 225. I think one more zero. 225 into 10. 2250 mm cube. Now this is trapezoidal. Trapezoidal. This will be 5 mm. This is uh, 15. This is 10. So BC will be H by 2 into A plus B. That is the area of trapezium. This area into depth. Depth will be 10 mm. So H is 5. 5 by 2 into A plus B is 15 plus 10. Parallel sides. This side is 15. This side is 10. This is 5. So area of the trapezium will be that into depth is again 10 mm, 10 mm, that works out to 25, 25 into 25, into 2, uh, sorry, into 5, these two ones are 2, 2, 5 are 10, so 5, 25 into 25, this will be 625 mm cube, so if you add this, I think uh, 3000, 5825 I think this will come to 5875 I think 5875 mm cube mm cube I'm doing it without using the calculator yeah. So 3000, 60 into 10 into 50, 10 into 5, 3000 plus 2250 plus 625. 5875 into 6% of that 0 0.06 352.5 Now volume of raw material will be 5875 plus 352.5 plus That will give me six two two seven point five six two two seven point five cubic millimeter. Now the raw material is a rod, a circular rod, a circular rod of diameter twenty diameter. 20 there. So, this volume of raw material Vr is equal to pi d square, pi dr square by 4 into Lr. Lr is length of raw material required. We want that Lr. So, Lr will be equal to 4 Vr divided by pi dr square. So, 4 into 6227.5 divided by 20 pi into 20 square pi into 20 square so into 4 divided by pi divided by 400 equals this much uh, so it is 19.8 millimeter angle. 
19.8 millimeter, I'll say roughly 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter. For each key, you will have to use 20 millimeter length. You have to use a 19.8 to something it is coming. You can take it as 20 mm. 4 into 6. 2 to 7. Square means 400. It's 19.8. You can take it as 20 mm. So that is the length required. So this is a problem on forging. Normally in forging you will get this type of problems only. You will get. Then he has asked one more problem, 18th problem. That is on foundry. Foundry. Here, find the cost of two thousand cast iron pulleys shown in figure. Its surfaces are to be machined after. Curve. Casting, the pattern is supplied by the customer. Uh, following data can be used, he has given it. I think I will do one more video for this. One more video for this 18th problem. Because I think you have taken about half an hour's time in this. So I will do it in one more video only.